Let's talk about something that nobody wants to experience, flooding. Extreme weather events directly affected more than 3.5 million Canadians in 2013. But only 9% of Canadians took precautionary measures to protect themselves and protect their homes from the effects of extreme weather. Now flooding usually happens from excessive melting, heavy rainfall, ice jams, or a combination of the above. And while they're definitely more prevalent in the springtime, flooding can happen any time of year. In this video, we're going to talk about the responsibilities of three different groups. Quinty Conservation, the municipality you live in, and you, the homeowner. So Quinty Conservation acts in an advisory capacity only. So what they're doing is they're monitoring the water, the flooding, they're documenting it, and then they're relaying that information into the flood forecasting and the flood messaging channels that we'll get to later in this video. Quinty Conservation does this to protect the loss of life or damage to property from flooding. This monitoring and documenting helps Quinty Conservation's forecasting and warning abilities. Quinty Conservation does not fight flooding. During a flood situation, Quinty Conservation is staffed 24 hours a day to monitor levels and weather conditions. The flood warning system maintained by Quinty Conservation covers the watershed of the Moira, Napanee and Salmon River, as well as all of Prince Edward County. Each fall, Quinty Conservation updates the flood warning plan. This plan contains vital information for local municipalities. Each individual municipality is responsible to respond to a public flood emergency. Their role is to protect public infrastructure and at their discretion may take action to protect private infrastructure. So as a homeowner, it's important to remember that it's your responsibility to stay up to date with Quinty Conservation's flood warning system and then act accordingly to protect yourself and also to protect your home. Whether that's checking online at quintyconservation.ca, following their Twitter feed, listening to the local radio or reading in the local newspaper. As you can see behind me, your responsibilities as a homeowner extend even to sandbagging your own property. So that's not the responsibility of Quinty Conservation, nor is it the responsibility of your municipality. But we're here to help you take the right steps. There are many things you can do as a homeowner to ensure you're taking proper precautionary measures to avoid flood damage this year. First, check your sump pump and ensure proper operation. It's always advisable to have a second sump pump as a backup on hand, as they can burn out from having to run non-stop to keep up with flooding. Ensure the drainage tube of the pump is long enough and extending from your foundation and not recirculating back into your basement. If power outages are common in your area, consider a backup generator system that will allow the pumps to keep working in the event of a power outage. Keep all valuables high and dry during flood season. Ensure drainage areas such as culverts around your home are free from ice and debris to flow properly. This can be difficult in the spring, but having a look in the fall is prudent. Check your homeowner's insurance policy to see if you have flood insurance. Oftentimes, homeowners mistakenly assume they are automatically covered, yet this is typically an optional item on your policy. Don't find this out after a flood. And finally, if you notice a flood occurrence that will affect others in your area, the general public, or road safety, contact Quinty Conservation. This will help keep them up to date with public flood messages. It's important to know that Quinty Conservation is already monitoring flood areas and commonly issues these flood messages to the general public. Flood messages will be one of three levels. A flood outlook statement gives early notice of the potential for flooding based on weather forecasts calling for heavy rain, snow melt, high wind, or other conditions that could lead to high runoff, cause ice jams, lakeshore flooding, or erosion. Flood Watch notifies that the potential for flooding exists within specific watercourses and municipalities. Municipalities, emergency services, and individual landowners in flood-prone areas should prepare. A flood warning means flooding is imminent or already occurring in specific watercourses or municipalities. Municipalities and individuals should take action to deal with flood conditions. This may include road closures and evacuations. 
So remember, it's your responsibility to stay up to date on flood conditions. Quinty Conservation does its best to inform the local media, like newspapers, radio stations, online sources, and municipalities. But if you live in a flood-prone area, the best way to stay up to date is by regularly checking QuintyConservation.ca. So let's keep our homes and our families safe by being aware and knowledgeable of the conditions of the watersheds around us.